Uh, Mr. Kravenoff? It's me, Peter Parker, from the Daily Bugle? We, we spoke on the phone? The, the door was open! Mr. Kravenoff? <laughs> oh, I apologize for startling you. I am Craven. Please forgive my theatrics. I merely wish to demonstrate my skills. The videos online do that pretty well. I saw you take down that Siberian tiger with your bare hands, without hurting it. Tigers are endangered. I simply relocated the beast for its own safety, as well as that of the local villagers. True hunters wish to conserve the natural world. It is where we find peace. You're a long way from the natural world. I craved a new challenge. I came here to hunt the monsters Oscorp created. The cross species. The deadliest combination of animal and human. I ended their threat. But I grew fond of your city. And your city grew fond of me. <laughs> and I decided to stay. Except now you're hunting normal people. No! Only criminals. Only those who prey on their fellow man have anything to fear from me. Based on my experience, uh, research, the police aren't big fans of vigilantes. The police had their chance to stop the crime wave. They failed miserably. I, uh, don't think they like being reminded of that. I do not wish to insult them. But it would be a far greater crime to have the power to help, but to refuse to act. Would you not agree? Yeah. As a matter of fact, I would. This new task force is sending a pretty strong message. No vigilantes. Ah, I do not trust them. They are paid for by Fisk. I am sure you've heard the rumors of his illegal activities. Sure, everyone has. But no one can prove it. And the police seem okay with him. Because he has paid those who are corrupt. The rest are desperate to avoid looking incompetent. Well, the public is desperate for an end to the crime wave. I have only one agenda. To get results. Is man really the most dangerous game? In their own way, yes. But men are merely highly evolved animals. The current crime wave provides fascinating opportunities to study them. The patterns of the various factions. And what are you finding out? That criminals are not unlike beasts. They have hunting grounds, specific behaviors. Many travel in packs, but... There are differences. Such as? Animals prey on others for survival. Only human beings are willfully cruel. Hmm. So you're saying you feel a responsibility to use your power to help? Yes. To have such power and not use it is to be unworthy of it. Uh, well, thanks. I, I think our readers will find this very interesting. Good, good. I must take this call. But please, look around. Take pictures of anything you wish. Yes.
No, I said tranquilizer darts. No, I have no interest in automatic weapons. They require no skill. I am an artist! Couldn't ask for a better picture. Great composition. Just what I needed. Pardon the interruption. Would you care to see my latest trophies? Spider-Man captured them. An inadequate solution. They escaped. So you killed them? To save the lives of their victims, yes. But also in self-defense. They were deadly opponents. I know. I mean, I can imagine. When do you consider it okay to kill? When there is no other choice. I do not take life lightly. But when it is necessary, I do not hesitate. If my failure to act cost the life of an innocent person, I could not live with myself. I know what you mean. They all had superhuman powers. How'd you beat them? I have trained myself to the peak of human ability, and learned many natural means of enhancement. Not drugs, like the scum who pollute the streets, but the secrets of native cultures. Herbs, potions, mysteries forgotten by so-called civilized man. Hunting criminals... Some people might wonder if you're the Carnage Killer. Ah, he is no hunter, but a brute, a savage. His very existence is offensive to men like myself. So even though he's hunting criminals, you'd like to take him down? Of course. He dishonors what I do. Without honor, Peter, 
The hunt means nothing. Last question. Is there anything you haven't accomplished yet? Ah, uh, yes. I would like to leave a legacy when I am gone. Pass my training to a protege. My only family is a brother who... Well, he chose a different path. I never had a son, but... Perhaps... Uh, forgive me. I am becoming melancholy as I get older. So, do you have what you need, Mr. Parker? Yeah, I think I do.